Hey, what's going on guys? Zach here. Welcome to this RuneScape update video. So Silver Jewelry came out today. I didn't expect that. I don't know if a lot of you did either because I remember on Twitter last week Jagex Ash saying that maybe it wasn't going to be for a while or at least lending the impression that he wanted the developer to have a little bit more time and not feel rushed. But I mean, here it is. So these are, there's basically three tiers of Silver Jewelry and they use the Shiloh Village gems. There's Opal, Jade, and Red Topaz Jewelry. Opal being the lowest tier, Jade being like the mid tier, and Red Topaz being the highest tier. Now none of these pieces of jewelry are especially useful. I'm just going to be honest with you. There are a few that provide new teleports, and so maybe if those are integrated into the jewelry box in your player-owned house, then that will be something to make use of in the future. But a lot of these are more for very low-level or mid-tier players who have, are kind of maybe just getting into the game, and this is like the first jewelry they can buy that provides any kind of benefits to their any kind of benefit to their account. So these, these pieces of jewelry might be more of use to lower levels and not high levels, but that does not mean that they are dead content. But anyways, it's a cool new way to train craft crafting. Um, it's something that crafting has not had in a long time. I don't remember the last time there was new jewelry. I mean, aside from the Zenite shards, like the Amulet of Torture and things like that. But this is this is something that's been discussed and I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. So I actually randomly had 835 silver ore in the bank, which is good because I didn't want to overpay today. So I made some quick uh, silver bars using superheat and I was kind of doing this while half asleep because I had just woken up. Anyways, I had stockpiled just a few gems in the bank because I was ready to make these whenever the update did finally come out. And like I said, I didn't think it would be today, but it was. So one thing you'll notice about the required crafting levels for all these pieces of jewelry is it's pretty low. I think the highest level of crafting required for any of these new pieces is level 45. And I think that might be the red topaz ring. If not, I'm, it's one of the topaz items. Maybe the amulet. I think it's the amulet, yeah. So people might initially be disappointed and say, well, what's the point? Dead con I mean, not everything has to be tiered toward higher level players. So I'm actually kind of excited for lower and mid-tier players, like I said earlier, to take advantage of some new content that's kind of basically just tiered or suited just for them. I think it's been a while since the game released this big of an update aimed more at lower and mid-tier players, so good for you guys. So the only thing confusing about the new jewelry is there's no Enchant Jade or Enchant Opal or Enchant Topaz spells. But however, if you do some common sense in your head, a level 1 enchant or the Sapphire enchant is for the lowest tier new jewelry, so that is for Opal. And the level 2 enchant, which is Enchant Emerald, that is for Jade, which is the mid-tier uh, silver jewelry. And then the level 3 enchant, which is Enchant Ruby, which kind of looks like Red Topaz, is for the Red Topaz jewelry. So the pricing on these new pieces of jewelry is really going to be a mystery. Like I've been saying, I think the only ones that are going to have really any value towards the economy is are the ones that have new teleports, like the Burning Amulet, and I forget the other one, but there are a few that have new teleports, and the teleports aren't super useful, but they are new teleports. And like I said, anyone who's looking to just finish off their uh, jewelry box and their planar and house is probably going to be looking to get their hands on them. That is, if Jagex decides to go ahead and add those to the jewelry box in the first place. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope the update is actually relevant to you. I'm actually kind of looking forward to finishing these ores off later today, because I kind of want to just see what I can make from these, and I would like to have just some of them handy, just to, uh, you know, it's a new silver update. I think it's kind of cool. Anyways, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment below if you feel so inclined. Uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know. You don't have to. Video sucks. You don't like it. You don't have to subscribe. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.